What's going on guys, JSGC Football here and we are here for another football video. Today we're going to be doing something really special. We're going to be checking out hospitality at Preston North End. It's something that we've never done before. It's also something that as far as I could see from my research, couldn't really see too much out there in terms of content creation on hospitality at PNE. So we're really looking forward to covering that. So we are going to be watching a pre-season friendly between Preston North End and Everton, the final pre-season game before the upcoming 2024-2025 competitive season does start. Uh, for this game between PNE and Everton, we are going to be watching from the Invincibles Lounge. They have got free hospitalities running for this game, which includes the uh, executive boxes which you find at one end of Deepdale in the Invincible Pavilion. Uh, at the other end, you have the Invincibles Lounge, which, which is the hospitality closest to where you find the away fans uh, who are situated in the Bill Shankly Cop. They do also have uh, the Sir Tom Finney Lounge running in the Sir Tom Finney Stand, which does make sense, uh, running as well. And Preston do have, I do believe, a couple of other hospitality options, according to their website, which is the Guild Lounge and the Great Room as well. But this isn't running for today's game uh, against Everton. Now, just having a little bit of, uh, doing a bit of research. So in terms of the price, uh, so the Sir Tom Finney Lounge was £5 cheaper than the Invincibles Lounge. And the difference between the two is you get a three-course meal in the Invincibles Lounge, whereas you get a two-course meal in the Sir Tom Finney Lounge. So we're going to be checking out the free course meal uh, with uh, the food and what is on offer and uh, how nice it tastes. And we'll be doing all of our uh, reviews and everything, of course, of the hospitality and whether we would recommend going there uh, or not. Uh, you do also have the executive boxes on offer as well, which uh, was available for 10 people at £750 for this game. Now, doing my research uh, ahead of the championship season, I do believe that everything's roughly around double in price for what you're paying for pre-season so I think that is something uh, bearing in mind if you are thinking about doing hospitality if you're wanting to get it at the most affordable deal then if you are available during the summer during pre-season because Preston normally have at least one normally two uh, games during pre-season at Deepdale and I think it's a brilliant option to go and check out a, a cheaper price and uh, I've paid £65 for my match ticket and hospitality experience in the Invincibles lounge for this game if you're a season ticket holder you do get a £5 discount on that so it would be £60 and as I said knock another £5 off if you want in the price for the Sir Tom Finney Lounge so I'm looking forward to it seeing what's on offer as I said free course meal uh, seating on halfway as well uh, for the Invincible Pavilion looking forward to it should be a good game of football as well and uh, we'll see what the experience is like uh, and so I'll give you all of the details as we do go through the video because I'm sure I'll pick up on other little bits and bobs that's on offer that you do get or maybe Maybe you don't get uh, but uh, yeah the one thing that I do want to stress is uh, as of right now drinks are not included in this hospitality experience I've not done the Sir Tom Finney uh, lounge but as far as I can read I don't think it's available for that I'm unsure about the executive boxes whether it's available for that but drinks are not included but your food and your match ticket and your experience is included so uh, we've paid £60 for Aaron £65 for me we'll see if it is value for money for this game between Preston North End and Everton in a pre-season friendly match at Deepdale inside the Invincible lounge hospitality at Preston North End is it worth it so before we do crack on with this video do make sure like always if you are enjoying the content do subscribe it is free to subscribe do leave a thumbs up do let us know your thoughts as well in the comments below including after we've checked out the Invincible Lounge would you be interested in us doing more hospitality experiences at Preston North End including checking out the Sir Tom Finney Lounge or maybe checking out one of the other uh, hospitality experiences that Preston North End have on offer as well do let us know in the comments below and we will We'll see what we can do. So let's make our way to Preston and to Deepdale for the hospitality experience at Preston North End inside the Invincibles Lounge. Let's go. Uh, we're now suited and booted, made it to Preston. Gonna go and check out the hospitality. I will go and show you around where you find the other bits of hospitality before going into our own. Okay, you have the Sir Tom Finney stand there and you just make your way through them doors there is where you'll find the Sir Tom Finney Lounge hospitality. But of course we're not in there today we're going to be checking out the Invincibles Pavilion Lounge instead so we're going to be going in there your executive boxes are on the other 
other side just over there and up there. We'll go up in the left. Right, we have settled in uh, hospitality here on the Invincible Lounge. Process pretty smooth. Uh, opens at 12.30. You go in, you collect your ticket. That's where you're going to find out where you're going to be sat. And then they'll beep you in. And you head upstairs. We've gone in on the lift. You can take the stairs. You've got accessible options. When you get here, it's not um, a, any free drinks. So it is a cash bar where you can just see it to the back. I'll show you around so you can see it. Uh, and you get your drinks from there. And then there's like a, a buffet meal with uh, big round tables that you share. Uh, pretty much it. Pretty posh, fancy, and nice. So uh, firstly, got uh, the strawberry flavoured cider, which I think is the is it old mount. So let's give it a taste. Yeah, I'm Some good stuff. Nice. We're joined by Casual Aaron as well. I need I need I need my mixed connoisseur. So you're on the cruise campo. Yeah. So I'm on the cruise campo. So How's it taste? Like lager, cruise campo is a decent choice. I do like cruise camper. Not massive fan of lager, but cruise camper is quite sweet. What other options you do have? Of course, you've got your usual, so Guinness, neck oil, for the cider on tap, it's inches. Mm -hmm. You've got Ben Moretti, a Heineken, ice cold. Cool. And uh, there's like soft drinks, isn't there? Because all Pepsi, drink, on, Pepsi Max, on tap, yeah. you can order yeah. them uh, in the bottle in the fridge as well. Can't yeah, a load of bottles in the fridge. Like I said, you've got the three inches cider, aren't you? So you've got berries mm -hmm. and cherries, strawberries, um, what's the other one? Pomegranate. Yeah, I'll be trying all three. See and how rum and coke you've got one as well. So. I love a rum and coke, I'll be I'll sampling be that too. <laughs> <laughs> But well, one thing to mention, I don't know if JR's mentioned it, because say with the alcohol or any drinks, it doesn't come as part of the hospitality package. No. One thing to note. Yeah, it's, it's you pay at the bar, and the bar is situated just over there, and there's the tables. As I said, I'll show you around. You want to set over here? Absolutely. Work your way out. There's Deepdale, that's the away end today, where you'll find Everton fans. I think they've sold it out, all five and a half thousand. Pitch, looking good. Get a little program as well. And you. They are also advertising a match sponsorship. Yeah, huge. Pause the video, go and have a read. And for the bread and butter. Arancini, I think, and some meatballs. This is our starter. I said it is a buffet menu. There's the arancini. Is it? Is that? Is that a Guinness and a John Smith glass? <laughs> So this is the Old Moot Cider Berries and Cherries. It's not got the pomegranates in stock at the moment, which uh, is a shame. I wanted to try it. There we go. Nice and refreshing on a nice day like today. Glass with ice as well. I mean, it's a decent drink. 7.6. There's your hospitality room. Your food's just done over there. Your bar's over there. There's your buffet. So you started over here. Hot off the press. Yeah. Okay, given the team sheet. There's your two teams for today. There is your two lineups for Preston versus Got your bacon option, greens and mash. Chicken curry. Padded seats, right on halfway, right where the dugouts are. Can't beat it. So to review our experience, you get a wristband, by the way. Food, very nice. That Aranc arancini at uh, for starters was absolutely brilliant, sensational. Would recommend that. The chicken curry, 
thought it was very good. Uh, I had Aaron, he had uh, the chicken curry as well. He rated it. Uh, and also, we're here with our uncle. He had the uh, gammon roast, uh, which again, looked very nice and said it was very nice. So food here, can't fault it at all. Very nice. The experience is very good. You do get a three course meal. So at half time, we will have some desserts as well. So looking forward to seeing what they're like. But overall, uh, at this moment in time, hospitality in the Invincibles lounge, very good. And the view, brilliant. Padded seats with the dugouts. Can he beat it? Worst waiter ever. <laughs> it can manage. It can manage. There it is. The key question is, Aaron, did you buy any of the lottery tickets? I did, actually. He did? <laughs> well, why? We already bought you some. Can't buy some more. How's that Guinness taste, by the way? It tastes like a Guinness, it's all right, actually. It's not the most, I say, it tastes like Guinness. Not like sometimes you get watered down. Out of 10? Seven. Okay. So I think, I think we need to go to Ireland and see what proper Guinness tastes like to see if you can compare. It does, it's just promised me all those years, four years back in Dublin and still not being from the 30th. 34 nearly. <laughs> all right, let's go to our seats. Couldn't be any closer to the dugout. Ground just starting to fill up now. Everyone at both Everton and here at Preston North End were deeply shocked at such a senseless atrocity and our hearts go out to everyone affected. The thoughts and prayers of everyone at both clubs continue to be with all those affected by the tragedy. Likewise, as we prepare to observe a minute's silence, we also have the two people very closely connected to our visitors at Everton, including Les Hell, their former physio and part of their 1995 FA Cup winning staff, and Craig Shakespeare, their first team coach in the 2017-18 season. To pay tribute to those who sadly lost their lives, both clubs are today wearing black armbands, and we hope that you can stand where possible to join us in observing a bit of silence, which will start and end on the referee's whistle. Seats this right on halfway. I do love how close we are to the dugout there. Preston manager Ryan Lowe. And we've got Everton manager Sean Dice just there as well. One nil Everton, Calvert Lewin from the spot. Well, let's go and enjoy our half time desserts. Desserts, half time. Very nice. Second half has, has just got underway. You can see that they've closed the blinds, so you go down to go and check the game out. Don't forget what mate you guys aware of. You do get free Wi-Fi, which you can use both up here in the hospitality room and out in the stadium uh, as well. They do have the uh, login and password information at the bar. Two-nil on the hour mark. 
Also, views for days. What a view. Last drink done. Let's talk and rate our experience then. We're going to start off first by speaking about the pros of hospitality in the Invincible Lounge. Firstly, and probably the most important factor when it comes to hospitality, is the food was excellent in the Invincible Lounge. The three course meal, I can't fault it. The starters, that arancini was delicious. I'm not the biggest fan of arancini, so to take something I'm not particularly keen on and make it delicious is a huge compliment. Brilliant starters. The curry and rice was very nice. The right amount of spice. I was a little bit concerned when you're catering to so many people that they're going to make it really mild so you're not getting complaints of it being too spicy. But it had a kick to it. It was very nice. The desserts, creme brulee. I don't really like creme brulee, but it's on offer, uh, so I'm going to try it. And again, it was delicious and it's not normally my go-to so food overall was absolutely brilliant also seats are very comfortable both in the hospitality room and also uh, in the stadium with the padded cushion seats uh, also you do get access to the room for a long period of time from 12 30 p.m when it opens for a 3 p.m kickoff right through till half past 6 p.m in the evening that's holding the room for six hours which is a brilliant little space to hang around with friends to enjoy good company enjoying delicious food excellent drinks and an excellent view of the football match as well you do as i just said get excellent views of the playing field premium seats cushioned seats right on halfway right behind the dugout excellent views really good company in there the staff are really friendly it's a really nice looking premium hospitality room i thought and you also get free reliable wi-fi both in the room and in the stadium which if you wanted to check your half time scores is worth its weight in gold now they're the pros we do have some cons so firstly it would be really good if they had all the drinks on offer in stock. I don't know if this is just because uh, it's the beginning of the season. They've got new train staff coming in or they've not sorted the stock out ahead of the start of the season because it is only the second game that's being played at Deepdale in the season. But uh, they said that they had pomegranate cider. So if they say that they've got pomegranate cider, then you can serve pomegranate cider. Otherwise, don't say that you've got it when you haven't so i think that uh, making sure you've got all the drinks in stock would be really good also uh, the bathrooms inside the hospitality uh, areas are very ordinary they reminded me of being in like a college or a sixth form i've been in other hospitality experiences where they've got uh, newly renovated bathrooms uh, with uh, some really nice uh, developed designer uh, hand wash and soaps and things just to add to your premium experience inside the bathroom it was a little bit meh in my opinion uh, and also finally i uh, don't know what it's like for everybody else that's been in hospitality but also punctuality if you say that you're going to be open at 12 30 there was a queue outside at 12 30 we didn't get let in until 12 35 if you're advertising that it's going to be available from 12 30 p.m then you make sure on the dot at 12 30 p.m that them doors are open so some areas for improvement some little things that i would like to see added on to the experience and uh, not that i'm aware of uh, that you do get included free parking at the club i've been to other hospitality experiences where you do get free parking at the club and i ummed and ahed about do i want to drive or do i want to take public transport deepdale isn't the closest stadium to the train station serving the city centre and so you either have to walk the two miles you can take a bus uh, or you can take a taxi but if you've got mobility issues then uh, driving becomes the easier option and including free parking i think would be a really nice little touch i don't know uh, if it is included uh, when it comes to the regular match days but for this experience i don't think that it was and i think it would be something nice that could be included uh, I also think that perhaps 
uh, as it is a premium experience, maybe uh, a nice little drink on arrival or a drinks token for a soft drink to be included just to add to your experience without it costing the club too much money. For the price that I've paid, £65 per person, you're not going to get drinks included for that price. However, doesn't mean that Preston can't add on some uh, additional packaging hospitality experience uh, inside the Invincible Lounge to which you can then upgrade your package to include drinks. I don't know if the Tom Finney Lounge includes uh, free drinks. I don't know if the executive boxes include drinks. And for the price that you're paying for the executive boxes, I would expect free drinks. But I've not done the experience to be able to quote on that. But overall, food was excellent. Uh, the experience was absolutely brilliant. It was tremendous value for money. I want to say kudos to the staff at to the hospitality experience yesterday as well. And for one final disclaimer, we have paid for absolutely everything uh, in this video by ourselves. It's not sponsored uh, and no one's approached us to do this video. We've done it off our own bat and this is our complete, true and honest experience. So, put one out there to you guys. As far as I'm aware, there's at least two hospitality experiences still available at Deepdale. Sir Tom Finney Lounge, Executive Boxes, would you like us to sample some of that as well next? Do let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, much appreciated. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. Do subscribe if you're new around here. Do check out our social media links in the description. And we'll see you all real soon for the next video. So we've been JSGC Football. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.